Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'll be doing a tutorial today on how to make sew in labels. They're very cost effective, really cheap for small business, or even if you're a quite established business, doing it in house will make it so much easier rather than having to buy you know, and then running out um, when you're like least expecting it. Um, so for me, I make them for my scrunchies for Made by Taylor Rose. They work really well. I've had quite a few variations over the past year or two with the labels and they're really easy to adapt. They're really low cost for businesses just starting up as well for businesses that just want to add a bit more branding. I hope you enjoy. To start off, we need a laptop, a rotary cutter, or you can use scissors as well, an iron or a heat press a measuring tape, some transfer paper. The transfer paper would depend on what sort of printer you have though. You'll need to get the right paper for those. I know that if you use like an inkjet in a laser, it will actually melt. I figured out when I was at school using the school printers, I'm sorry um, to my Catholic school that I used those in. It melted all inside and it was an absolute mess. So yeah, just make sure you have the right paper for the right printer. Also we need cotton. I just use cotton prima material uh, that I just get from Spotlight. It's not like the cheapest, but it is a good quality sort of one um, that's not too expensive. So first you're going to want to make your Word document or in my case I use Pages because I have a MacBook. I just use that by screenshotting my typeface and then pasting it back in and then merging um, aligned together and then I just copied and pasted that all across the page. It was pretty simple. Yeah, not much to it. So what you're going to want to do is press print and you're going to want to mirror the image. So it's called flip horizontally. It might be not as easy to find as mine where it's just got a little box, but it might be in one of the other settings in this. You're just going to want to mirror that because if you don't, it will come out backwards when you finally transfer it. So we're just clicking print there. When you put the paper in, depends obviously what way your printer prints. So mine is facing down, um, so it can print facing up. When it prints out, you'll notice that it is backwards, which is good. It's good if it's backwards. If it's not backwards, you'll end up with it the wrong way around when you transfer it. Cut them apart, depends obviously what your logo is. I just use strips. Using a rotary cutter or scissors if you don't have a rotary cutter, I'm going to do, I do five centimeters because it fits perfectly with my two centimeter logo. So I just cut strips. I fold the fabric in half and then half again to make it easier for myself. And yeah, so I'm just measuring that up, making sure it's straight. Next, you're gonna want to cut them in half because I have a small ironing board that I set on the table. So I just use it would be like half a meter or close to. Turn the iron on, I think it's, it's just on cotton. And I just fold the insides in. And I slowly iron down until the whole thing's done. Uh, once that's all pressed and looking pretty straight and even, I will grab one of the strips that we printed off before and I'll put it face down onto the strip, making sure I've flipped the strip already so it's like got the flat side, not the bits that we've folded in. When you're transferring with an iron, you need to use like steady strokes. Just make sure you don't hold it there for too long because you will burn like everything. So just make sure you're kind of like wiggling it and moving it around. Just have a look at the instructions on whatever transfer paper you get. Everything will be different and it will also be different once you do some trial and error. I don't particularly look at the times it says on the instructions because I've been doing it for so long. I usually actually do it a little bit shorter, especially for the heat press. So yeah, you just peel that backing off and then you've got the labels all ready to go. The second option is to use a heat press. Uh, mine is really old, as you can tell it. I don't even know how old it would be. I got it secondhand off a professional heat press man. <laughs> that is the best investment I've ever made. It cost me $400, I think three years ago, four years ago, five. Oh God, it's been so long. So I'm just pretty much doing the same thing I did with the iron. I'm putting it on there. And then I'm pressing it down. So this is like completely safe. I won't burn it unless you leave it too long. So I only 
use it for probably, I think I put my Jet Pro for 20 seconds. It says 30 on the instruction sheet, but I don't like doing that. It also says to do at 200 degrees. I usually sit at around 160, 180. These are just tips that I got from the man that used to uh, do the heat pressing. So I've just been following his advice. I have tried and trial and error different papers and different times and heats in the past. And this is just what I stuck with. I'm not saying it's gonna work for everyone, but yeah, you just need to do some trial and error. So I've just peeled that back. I tend to try and make sure there's a little bit of overhang because especially with scrunchies, if there's like a little bit of cotton showing, it will get really dirty really quick because obviously not a lot of people wash their scrunchies, which you should. I tend to try and make sure that there's that all covered just so when like dirt gets on it, it's not gonna stay, like it's not gonna show up. I found like when my, with my first scrunchies that I did two years ago when I started doing the labels, there'd be a box sort of thing and you'd have like this dirty line on each side after multiple uses uh, so yeah now I try and make sure that the transfer paper is bigger than the actual strip itself is that just make sure that it's not going to look dirty but then you'll also see that there might be overhang so I usually just cut that off very gently using small scissors try not to cut the actual cotton so you just need to be very gentle when you do that I just run my scissors along kind of like just very lightly chop and get all those little bits of almost plastic looking bits off there we just cut all apart and obviously it depends what you're sewing how much room it's gonna be for you to cut because I'm using I do scrunchies I only do little labels so it's fine and then we're done so you be able to make plenty all by yourself <laughs> I also try and do bulk lots so I don't just do like one at a time with an iron you might have to do one at a time but with a heat press you can just chuck them all on there wait the 20 seconds and then you know you've got like 50 to 100 labels done within that 20 seconds so it's really easy really simple to do hey guys hope you like that tutorial um, if you want to see more, please subscribe. I'll be doing videos hopefully every week or every other week for tutorials on craft things. <laughs> and I'll also be giving advice to other small businesses looking to start a business or ones that are already established that might be, you know, a bit stuck, not, not sure what to do next. So please give that like button some love and give the video a share. But please subscribe as well because uh, there'll be more content coming. Thank you. <laughs>